The gentleman from Louisiana, Mr. Graves. Gentleman's recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Chairman, thank you for yielding. I want to explain why we're in the situation that we're in today. We've watched over the last year as my friends across the aisle have pushed through legislation called the IIJA, called the IRA, the CHIPS Act, the ARP, all these acronyms. And what it means to you, what it means to the American people, Mr. Speaker, is it means that $10 trillion in extra funds have been spent. $10 trillion. Let me tell you what that means. Today, a child born in America is going to inherit about $4.5 million in debt at their birth. Four and a half million, the amount of money they're going to pay over their lifetime, according to the Committee for a, a, a Responsible Federal Budget. Right now, we have hit our credit card limit as a nation. We don't have the ability to pay the monthly payment. And so we're in a quandary. We've got to figure out how we're going to raise that credit card limit. And just like you would do with your own family, you would have a conversation, Mr. Speaker, with your child, and you would say, hey, how did you get yourself in this situation? We've got to fix it. Look, the situation we're in right now, we have four options in front of us. There are four. Number one, we can default on the debt. You cannot pay your credit card bill, which means late payment penalties, interest rates going up, and you cause havoc on the American family. Second option is you can say, hey, we're going to use this 14th Amendment thing that doesn't really exist, and the president can just do it on his own. Third option is you can get all the moderates, you can get them together, they can do a relatively clean debt ceiling, it just keeps that debt going up and up and up from $32 trillion today to $52 trillion over the next 20 years or so. 17 and a half cents of every tax dollar paid over the next 10 years is going to go toward interest on the debt. 17 and a half cents. The third option we have is, again, a clean debt ceiling, just running it up. The fourth option we have, the one that's before us today, the Fiscal Responsibility Act. It is absolutely historic for the first time ever as a result of the strategic nature of this speaker. We're in a situation where we have legislation before us that will result in the greatest savings in American history that will result in the greatest rescission or taking back of funds in our nation's history. We have legislation before us today that will strengthen and instill work requirements for welfare. We have legislation before us today that will rescind funds for additional IRS, IRS agents because I have never had a constituent say, gosh, I wish I could have more audits. We have legislation before us today that, for the first time in 40 years, streamlines the environmental process. Mr. Speaker, here it is. Historic efforts to raise the deficit, $6.5 trillion is how much this one resulted in. This one, $2 trillion in savings. This is the option. There's not an imaginary fifth option, Mr. Speaker. It doesn't exist. Gentlemen's Let's time has expired. The American people support this legislation. Yield back. The gentleman from Missouri Reserve. Reserve.